Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash the like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help with the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, today I will be sharing some Cardano news with you guys, um, you know, something that Charles Hoskinson had to say regarding Ethereum, and then uh, I will come and do uh, my price analysis on Cardano and, uh, you know, tell you guys where I could see Cardano going in the upcoming future. Uh, but before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer, anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. All right, let's jump into this article, guys. So, Ethereum 2.0, science is not good, says Cardano's Charles Hoskinson. So, despite the market's alts rally together, Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson believes that Ethereum is fundamentally not as strong as his project. In a recent interview with Ben Armstrong, Hoskinson, a co-founder of Ethereum, uh, you know, critiqued ETH 2.0 scaling model. Ethereum has been working on ETH 2.0 to shift its consensus protocol to proof of stake. It aims to make Ethereum more scalable and get a higher number of transactions per second on the network. But according to Hoskinson, ETH has put itself in a position where they're betting on optimistic ZK rollup and these other things. Uh, you know, uh, in that uh, said interview, Hoskinson compared it with scaling Cardano, claiming that the latter could easily increase transactions per second while taking Cardano's scaling model, the founder said. Uh, we've chosen radically different scaling models, and actually, I think both of them have the potential working, but I think Vitalik's are a little bit riskier from an engineering and research point of view. This is why it is so difficult for them to put, get ETH 2.0 out. They are chosen to shard all the stuff. We don't have to shard. Uh, we can get the 1000 TPS on the base level and adding Hydra. We can uh, get whatever we want because of the UTXO Cardano is much easier to shard. Hoskinson also claimed that ETH 2.0 approach is not scient uh, scientifically sound, making it risky. Uh, the system laid out by ETH developers is a complex system and it could be very difficult to achieve high top the throughput. Hoskinson concluded the science is not good yet. There are a lot of trade-offs. They actually go um, from a half to third um, um, Byzantine fault tolerance. There are um, variability problems and there are all kinds of new attacks that uh, probably are going to occur. So it must... So it's much more complex under the hood. Then it's not clear to me how much more complex system is going to result in that much higher throughput and scalability. So with Ethereum 2.0 developers trying to work out scaling of the network through uh, 2.0, the Cardano network too has been seeing great developments. Its testnet is officially in multi-asset era after the successful fork and applications of the Gogan Mary native token upgrade. The team is also moving to the mainnet schedule to be done by the end of February. So as you guys know, you know the Gogan is uh, set to release end of February, and uh, a lot of people were, you know, are highly, highly anticipating this, and uh, that's why we. We are seeing crazy price action as well. Uh, we are at 63.4 cents, guys. Like uh, Cardano has been on an absolute rally in the last seven days. It's up almost a hundred percent. I did say in my previous video, if you go um, back to uh, two videos, um, like my previous video, I did say, guys, Cardano will hit its all-time high this month because of Gogan, and a lot of eyes are on Cardano. And also, there's one favorite that is in Cardano as well because you know altcoin season is beginning as well. So that's uh, you know very very favorite for Cardano as well and you know a lot of these uh, in institutional investors are finally starting to realize what Cardano is trying to they're starting to do more research on Cardano and uh, you know anything besides Bitcoin and Ethereum people are uh, you know a lot of people are looking into Cardano if you go on Twitter um, a lot of big you know analysts uh, that never looked into Cardano are tweeting about our Cardano and uh, that's very very extremely bullish uh, for Cardano and um, if we're looking at the price, guys, yeah, it's at 63% right now. And I said it could reach its all-time high this month. And I am very, very confident it could do that. Uh, right now, we are at a market cap of $20.1 billion. Uh, so, yeah, all-time high is just around the corner. Because, obviously, Gogan, it allows double staking. Like I said, you know, the, you know, 
the investors that are, that are more uh, sophisticated, they like a passive income. They want projects where they can earn passive income. Uh, so this Cardano will be extremely appealing to them rather than some other projects that offer proof of stake because Cardano is very well known compared to these other projects that hire, you know, higher staking rewards. So, uh, but another um, good point is that, uh, you know, Cardano has a higher liquidity compared to the other projects. So it's very, very uh, good times ahead for Cardano. And also I believe, uh, I don't know, like something's telling me that Cardano could get listed on Coinbase as well because right now it's at the number four rank and you know like I said there's a lot of hype for Cardano right now in the space so Coinbase could list them uh you know on um you know they could list Cardano on Coinbase because uh you, this is one project that should be listed on Coinbase honestly like you know when newcomers are coming into the markets you know Cardano should be there for them to look at rather than some other coins because Cardano what they are doing is revolutionary and I believe in the next 5-10 years Cardano will take over the crypto industry but this is just my own personal opinion uh, only time will tell what happens but yeah like if uh, you know Cardano were to be listed on Coinbase there's a lot of more exposure coming into uh, uh, for Cardano and um, you know <laughs> sky's the limit at that point but at in this bull run guys I know like I said this bull run uh at the, this bull run will peak out at the end of this year, I believe, if history were to repeat itself. Uh, but we never know. But, uh, you know, I know that um, I'm like very, very confident that Cardano can reach its all time high this month. Uh, but, like, I could see Cardano top out at $150 billion market cap at the peak of the bull run. Now, you may be asking Crypto ZX, what price would Cardano be if it were to reach $150 billion market cap? If it were to reach $150 billion market cap, it would be at $4.70. Yeah, you heard that right. $4.70. But long term, guys, sky's the limit for it. Like 5, 10 years, sky's the limit. But this bull run, I could easily, this is just my own personal opinion, I could easily see it hit $150 billion market cap if we are about to go see that parabolic bull run that, you know, we did see in the previous bull cycles. And also, you know, one thing I want to point out is the, you know, the reason I believe the price can go up super fast is because more than half of Cardano's circulation supply is staked right now. So there's less Cardano on the exchange. So, you know, when the demand gets higher and there's less supply, what's going to happen, guys? Price is just going to go through the roof. So very, very exciting times ahead. And yeah, guys, um, let me know your thoughts down below where you could see Cardano go at the end of this month and where you could see Cardano at the end of this year. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Leave a comment down below and share your thoughts. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I think I'm going to wrap it up around here. So please stay safe out there. Uh, you know, health comes first, family comes first, everything else comes later. Yeah, so I'm going to wrap it up around here. It's been CryptoZX and peace out.